A very good morning to all of you. As good. The last clapping was the best test of concentration. Incidentally, clapping is a very good exercise for the brain also because it stimulates various parts of the brain because your whole body is represented in your palm. So you, that's a good exercise also. That is why our method of greeting people, Indian method of greeting people with the folded hands like this is supposed to be a very good method now. Even the West is trying to copy it. For one thing, you bend down when you, when you fold your hands to do Namaste. That shows the most important quality of a human brain, humility. Number two, you keep the hands together so you get a lot of acupressure to the hands. So a lot of your parts of the body get stimulated. Number three, you don't shake hands with someone else because if you shake hands, you get all the dirty things from him. You just keep yourselves to your hands and he keeps to his hands. Did you understand that? So children, good, very good. So the most important thing is, what you should understand is, the whole world is now trying to look at India to learn good things. Probably some children may not know this. Up until the 12th century, India was the leader of the world. The world lived on spice trade with India. You know, you see your spices here, we have plenty of them. That was the thing the world was running on. Today, it runs on a computer chip. Some time back, it was running on petrol. But up until 12th century, it ran on Indian spices. Then at the end of the 11th century, there was an Islamic empire which came up in Turkey, which blocked the land route to India, so that Europe could not come to India, and Europeans became poor, very poor, and they didn't have money. So there was this queen, king, queen of Spain. She had some money. She said, anybody who finds an alternate water route to India, I will give them the money. That is where Christopher Columbus said, I will find a route to India. And you would be surprised. He went in search of Indian spices and one day landed in what he thought was India and he called it as India. And that was Cuba. So the whole continent of America today if they're enjoying there and saying we are the biggest, they have got it because of us. Columbus went in search of India. Did you get that? So now the future of the future of India is in your hands. What you did here, mathematics, it originated in India. There's a child like you, a brilliant brain, who was an astounding brain in mathematics. Ramanujam. Have you heard of him? Yes. Ramanujam could do calculations. You give him your date of birth, he will make a magic box. And in this box, you calculate it anyway, you add it up in any way, laterally, upside down, at cross, everything comes the same number. This is called the magic box. And recently I saw a kid in a school. This kid could do what Ramanujam did. You give him your date of birth, in two minutes, he'll get your magic box. So I took this ki kid to Bangalore, India International, I mean that, uh, what is that, IAC, Indian Science Institute, Indian Institute of Science. And the professor of mathematics there, I asked him, have you had anybody do Ramanujam's thing? He said, no. See, this boy. And the professor gave his date of birth, this boy did it in no time. Professor shocked. So we have talent, young kids. That is why a great Western thinker who had a Nobel Prize wrote, I quote, every newborn child, even the child making noise there, is a genius. Did you get this? Every newborn child, even the child making noise there, is a genius. Only to be converted into an idiot in the present schools. You were a genius when you were born. When you went to school, 
you become an idiot. <laughs> Do you know why? The school teaches what is written in the book. And school wants you to mug it up, to vomit it in the exam. Examination is the botheration for the Indian nation whose occupation is cultivation. I saw a different examination here today. I was so happy. It's not competition. Examination was cooperation. Why did the Westerners teach us competition? Tell me. Can you think of it? What is competition? In the exam, I get first rank. Ms. Ramki, Ram, Ramki gets second rank. Now look at us. Up until now, we were friends. Now when I get the first rank, I become very proud. I am first. Ramki becomes so depressed. I am second. And now what happens? He starts hating me. I am jealous of him. These negative thoughts come by competition. Inside you, child, inside each one of you, you have 100 trillion human beings. Did you know that? Each one of your cell is a human being. And if you photograph them, we can photograph them now with a bio photo on camera. They love one another so, so much, they are so happy, they are jumping about the place. So you are a colony of 100 trillion human beings. Did you get it? Right. Now, how can you hate another person? Can you hate someone? No, because your cells love other people also. Now, unfortunately, in the Western type of education, they teach us to hate each other. They take you to the sports field. Do you know what the sports field is meant for? Not for winning or losing. How do you play the game? Winning and losing has no meaning at all. You may win today, you may lose tomorrow. But if you follow the ethics of the game, you become a good human being. But unfortunately, the West says, he is a first runner. He is a mile runner. He is this, he is that. No. We are all same. Remember that. We all have the same capacity. It is how you practice, how you concentrate that gets you winning or losing. So what is brain or brain doing, to my mind, is the greatest thing to educating the future generation of children. Do you know what education is? Ah, that's it. Score 5,000 points and get to win a KTM Duke 200. Can you, can you hear me children? Do you know who is the greatest scientist? Yes. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Agreed, agreed. Agreed. Abdul Kalam was not a scientist. He was a technician. He is a technologist. He is a missile technologist. He had nothing to do with science. Science is different from technology. Forget about it. Do you know the best scientist? Child, child. A child before going to school is the best scientist. Did you know that? A child, a child, before it goes to school, is a scientist. I'll tell you how. You buy the child a toy. The father buys a toy, 1,000 rupees toy. The first day the child is so happy, it looks at the toy, turns it upside down, looks at every corner. This is called observation. One of the first prerequisites of a scientist is observation. Second day, it licks the toy to see if it is tasty. The third day, it smells it to see if it has got smell. The fourth day, it breaks it. Now the father is very angry, but I should be very happy because that is a real scientist. It first tried all the four senses to see what is it and the fifth sense to see what is inside. So using your five senses and trying to understand this world is called science. Did you understand that? 
Science is not discovering something. Understanding this word is called science. Did you understand that? Very good boy. Now, today's Western science is something different. Teaching the world something tricks. You understand? That is not science. The true science is understanding the universe. And that is done by a child. Curiosity. It is called curiosity. A curious child is a scientist. A curious human being is a scientist. A curious human being is the one who takes knowledge forwards. I will give you a story. In the second century AD, there was a great scientist called Ptolemy who looked at the sun. The sun goes up, up, up and comes down, down, down in the evening. So he said, the sun goes round the earth. Right? He was not wrong. He was right. But he was not totally correct. So he said, earth is the center of the planet and it is called geocentric concept. For five centuries, every teacher taught that the sun goes round the earth. Do you get that? But there came a thinking curious man in the seventh century who was called Copernicus, who observed the earth much more carefully and then said, no, the earth goes round the sun. Now you see in the morning the sun there. And sun is there only. He does not go anywhere. The earth goes one circle and in the evening it sees it as west. The sun is standing where he is. But he only observation was right, interpretation was wrong. Ptolemy's observation was right, interpretation was wrong. Copernicus' observation was right, inference was right. And he said, the sun goes, the earth goes around the sun, which is called heliocentric concept. Now listen to me very carefully. For 500 years, nobody thought, nobody was curious, nobody from darkness to light. And he said, it is not the earth that goes, the sun that goes around the earth. Earth is that which goes around the sun. Did you get that? So what should you do to take this world forwards? Think, think. Have you heard of think? T H I N K. Every child is a great thinker. But if you go to school, they stop you from thinking. Do you get that? Now, let us come back. How did you get all this wisdom? On the day you are made in your mother's womb, not when you come out, when you are made in your mother's womb, you get an inspiration which is called prana, consciousness and that tells you all about this universe, post-story and priori. So when you are born, you know everything in this world. So no school, no teacher can teach you anything which you didn't know. So what is education then? Where do you go to school? Where do you come to brain of brain? The job of a teacher is like a midwife to deliver the best in you and bring it out. That is why education, the root is A is out, dossier is delivered. So get the best out of you outside is called education. That is why Swami Vivekananda, have you heard of Swami Vivekananda? How many have you heard about? Good, good. Do you know what he said? Education is the manifestation of the perfection which is already in man. You don't have to teach anything from outside, you bring it out and bring it out. That's called practice. That's why in Sanskrit they say, dagdam, dagdam, punarapi punaha kanchanam kantavarnam. Now you have, let's say Ramke has a key, uh, ring. No, he doesn't have a ring. They have a ring. You have a chain. Huh. Now this is, this is gold, no? But do you know how it is shining? They heat it, beat it, heat it, beat it. Dagdam, dagdam, punarapi punaha, kanchanam, kantavarnam. Gold becomes shining. See how shining it is. So nice. Similarly, what are the brain of brain people doing? Instead of beating you and heating you, they are training you, training you, training you, and make you then start shining. You become kanchanam. You are already kanchanam. 
you become kanta varnam did you get that actually i only hope and wish that this kind of learning and teaching is practiced in all schools and all examinations are stopped until the child reaches the age of 15 years because examination is a very big curse on children and what i liked most here was when the teacher asked teacher asked did you enjoy your examination everybody said yes do you know why there is no failure in this examination why are you not worry don't like to go to school but there is failure in the school nobody should fail if a student is not as good as the other student that student has to be given extra help and that is why i say every teacher is a midwife what does the midwife do she stands by the side of a pregnant mother in pain coaxing her cajoling her sympathizing with her empathizing with her provoking her but who delivers at the end of the day mother but in the conventional school who delivers the teacher no teacher should not deliver teacher should stand by the side of a student in distress student in difficulty coaxing him or her cajoling empathizing sympathizing provoking and make the student deliver and that is possible without the pass fail examination system as we always say it is not passing or failing it's winning or losing is not important it is how you run the race that is important the whole world runs on cooperation but our examination system runs on competition this is very very, very bad i'll tell you a story which you all read in the school books a hare runs with the tortoise there is a race and tortoise can go slowly only hare can run fast so the hare was running very fast and then it stopped at a place and mock at the tortoise which is slowly coming it went on doing that but before the goal there was a river so when the hare ran to the river it didn't know how to cross the river because it can't run in the river water so the tortoise was slowly moving then do you know what the tortoise said wait mr hare i will get into water i can float i can swim you get on to my back and i will also take with you at the end both of us will win who won the race both good 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 that that means you are listening who won the race both in life who should pass the exam all good see you are much more brighter than the adults adults many times they don't understand what is being talked to them you are with me good boy spectacle boy hey let him let him move baby sign why are you worried so children in life who should win what should you do what should you do to win cooperate cooperate you must carry the hair on your back where the hair cannot cross the river the tortoise should carry it on the back what should the hare should have done earlier when the tortoise cannot run it should have taken the tortoise and his back and run did you get that so what is the moral that you take home today you take help each other good 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 who said that good girl do you know what i tell the students each one reach one each one reach one did you understand that if each one of you reach another person that means help another person this world will be a happier place to live on each one hate one we will all die did you understand that so each one reach one and education is concentration education is only hard work there is no shortcut for hard work but the result you don't worry if all of us concentrate and do hard work all of us will win life do you know why many people don't win because the hatred greed and jealousy of others there isn't anybody called an idiot there isn't anybody who is good who is bad all of us are endowed with the same energy the same capacity to learn 
but some of us don't focus others focus so focusing is what is called concentration did you get that and i'll tell you something being a doctor when you concentrate and focus your health also improves i think children are hungry yeah hungry children are angry children so now what do you do next let you all go and eat before that let me tell you you are in a wonderful place and this will take you to greater heights in your life i am not worried about you are getting 100 out of 100 that doesn't mean anything i want you to become good human beings how how do you get happiness let's see any child answer good who said that who said that who said that who said that stand up come here come here Hey, do you have a spare uh, price for him? So this is the best answer that I expected. Best answer, come. Breed. Ramki has given this boy a special price. Fair enough. Ekanth Reddy. Ekanth Reddy. Ekanth Reddy. Reddy Garu, <laughs> he is a very good boy. He is a great boy. Congratulations. Thank you. Good boy. So, cooperation is health. Competition is ill health. Never say, I. You know, a lot of us have that idea. I. I, you know what starts with? Illness. I means illness. When you say, we. Wellness. So do you want to be happy and healthy? Help others. Help others. Happiness is not something which can be acquired. You go out and help somebody, you become automatically happy. You go out and help somebody, you become automatically happy. So friends, take this message home. Let us live together and let others live also in this world. You don't have to put down somebody to live. You don't have to put down somebody to come up. We all come up together. And that's the message I want to give you and leave you with the thought that you are in the right place at the right time for your future benefit. And may the country have more of these centers and may our country lead the world in human happiness index. Thank you. Score 5,000 points and get to win a KTM Duke 200.